Good morning, everyone, or I guess good afternoon, maybe good evening. I hope you're having a great day. Guys, today we just got a few really neat reels from Bates Fishing Company. Coincidentally, I was actually out on the water yesterday doing some fishing, some live scope, and some FFS stuff with some new baits. But I've got my bait shirt on today. I didn't know these came in, so a little special treat here, kind of coordinating everything. So Bates Fishing Company has released a couple new reels to the market. So if you don't know about Bates Fishing, they're based out of Texas, right here in our backyard, uh, only about maybe an hour away from the shop. Uh, Buddy, the owner, is a really great guy, stops by from time to time, but of course he's always busy engineering and perfecting these reels here. So these have finally come to market. I've known about these for quite a while now, couldn't have said anything, but I'm very excited to show off these reels right here. So they've got three brand new reels coming out. Right now, we have two of them. The other one we're missing is going to be the Salty Hundo, made for the salt water. It's got uh, brass gears in it, better bearings, really cool stuff from Bates. So, first two reels we're gonna talk about here, the brand new ones, first off, is going to be, this is the model GOAT in the swim bait variety. As you can see here, it's gonna be that matte black finish, as well with the monster handle here. So. This goat swim bait reel is a 200 size reel, so you're gonna get around 200 yards of 12 pound line on this. If you're fishing swim baits, you know, anywhere from that one to three plus category, I mean, even four, four ounce swim baits, you're gonna be able to throw it with ease. You can still throw bigger swim baits than that on this reel here, um, but that's kind of what it was made for here. So all of them come in one gear ratio. It's going to be a 7.1 to one gear ratio. This one here specifically, let me look at my notes. It's going to bring in 32 inches per turn of the reel handle. And this reel handle is going to be, I believe it's a 110. Don't quote me on that. I do believe though it is a 110 millimeter handle and I love the power knobs on it. It's extremely smooth looks amazing of course you've got the braking system in the side plate here and we'll pop it off and look at it um if i can get it Let's see there we go not too hard again the the braking system is going to be very similar um to the the original goat swim bait you can see here it's going to be the solid spool inside and it's going to use a magnetic braking system in there and i do like and enjoy how the side plate doesn't come off uh, it's held in there, so you're not going to be losing any side plates. Shimano. Just, yeah, some of the Shimanos that we have, they'll they'll pop off. I've lost a side plate or two. Um, we won't talk about that. But I love the side braking dial, guys. I like how easy it is. And honestly, you would think that you can twist it with your palm like this as you're fishing. It doesn't turn at all, so don't worry about that. You've got numbers 1 through 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so 1 through 11. And that's just going to increase the braking on the spool itself. You've got the spool tension. And I really love how they integrated a little bit of a design in here to help you manage thicker line. I don't know if you can see actually up in there. I might zoom in if I can. But you can see it's actually a flared well for your line to fly through there and, uh, and give you some less friction casting essentially. You've also got a clicking uh, drag star here, and it tensions down extremely quick. One of the cool things that I think a lot of people miss on swim bait reels is that if you do need to back down, the, back down the drag really quickly, or you need to lock it down really quickly, it doesn't take a lot of turns. So I'm holding the spool here. I can turn it with ease in one, two, three. I mean, it is totally locked down. This thing has 18 pounds of drag, so perfect for fishing those bigger swim baits. Now, you can still throw crankbaits on this. You can throw a lot of different things, but that 7.1 to 1 gear ratio is going to give you a great amount of torque. So you do have a little bit of torque on them, plus bigger handle helps out with that. So wrenching in these big fish is going to be perfect. Now, I do want to mention, speaking of swim baits, we got some brand new swim baits in the shop. We've got Tiny Clash, and we have... K9. Um, now we've got a bunch of different colors here. Uh, we have the TKs and the Tiny Clashes in the same exact colors, but these are the ones I have on deck here. Uh, but we'll talk about them really, really quick while I drop TKs. So first off, I'm going to be Shock Lemon right here. Chartreuse Black looks really cool. Got this one here. It's going to be a pink one. Very similar. Very, very bright pink. This one is going to be Panic Pink. 
Mystic Weed, one of my favorite colors. It's going to be a great clear water color. It's got a little hit of green in there. Looks like a little glass minnow shiner. Um, looks super amazing, right? Final product from DRT. We got the Pro Blue. And again, we have these in Canine Ant and uh, Tiny Clash. So Pro Blue, it's going to be very, very neat. Purplish top. Going to have a little bit of a gray back going down. Of course, it's going to be a matte color. You don't see a lot of these matte colors, so definitely check them all out on the website. Next up, guys, one of the ones that I have been extremely excited about, one of the biggest growing subsets of bass fishing is going to be the BFS, Bait Finesse Systems. And we have right here, this is the Hundo LTS. This is going to be for your light tackle situations, your really, really light line. I mean, 10 pounds max I'd put on here made for around six to eight pound line. This thing's gonna cast beautifully. Sorry, didn't mean to interrupt. Sorry about that. This thing's gonna cast beautifully, guys. It is going to be uh, boasting, let's see, you can stick four pound line on here with a hundred yard capacity. So it's still a hundo, it's still gonna be the same body type and everything. Changed up the spool, also changed up the braking system. So you're gonna get in it the exact same way, pop the side plate off, You've got a little dial on the spool there, so you can adjust it. And of course, you've got a little drum on there as well, and you can adjust that. So really neat. The Hundo LTS is going to have um, gold and silver highlights on there. And I think the reel itself looks extremely well made. I know it is well made. I do like the black handle, black knobs on it. And of course, you have the Hundo logo right there with the feather. So. That all is really neat, 10 ball, uh, ten bearings, 10 plus two plus one bearings, so that one roller bearing in there. So it's gonna have a ton of bearings. Braided line capacity, you've got 12 pounds with 100 yards, and then the drag is going to be an 8.5. It has a clicking drag, so you can hear it there, as well as a, just micro clicks on the tension. So there are a lot of different changes in this Hundo LTS compared to the regular Hundo. And then, of course, when you get the salty hundo in, those will be going live as well. So we unfortunately only have right hand in the hundo LTS as well as the goat swim. Um, show you a little size comparison here of the two reels. There we go. You can see 200 size and I guess kind of like a 100 size there. So definitely hop on the website, guys. I'm very excited about these. I hope you pick them up and enjoy them as much as I enjoy showing them here. Once we get some more in and you want to come into the store, we're going to be doing um, some demo stuff. So if you are coming in, well, we should have at least one of these spooled up for you, whether it's the BFS or the swim. So definitely check these cool products out, all the cool stuff from DRT. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this little video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time at Lake Pro Tackle. See ya.